Hello. Over the next few minutes, I will be telling you more about Catholica Global School of Law and the LLM programs that we offer. I will start by telling you about the school, its origins and its history. Then I will move on to present our LLM programs. And then finally, I will be covering some practical issues like applications, scholarships and the like. Starting with the school's history, Catholica Global School of Law was established in 2009. It is a pioneering school in Portugal and its leader in international legal education. We offer a number of international programs taught entirely in English. Our goal at Catolica is very clear. We want to train a new generation of lawyers and legal practitioners with a distinct profile. Lawyers who feel comfortable in practicing law across borders and in contact with diverse legal sources. A lawyer that is different from the traditional lawyer, a lawyer that has not been trained exclusively in a single domestic legal system. We want to train lawyers also who are capable to think creatively and to adapt quickly in a context in which lawmaking and dispute resolution are constantly challenged by severe political, social, and technological transformations. At Catholica Global School of Law, every year we gather a world-class faculty and students from all over the world. As to the faculty, we have managed to do something quite remarkable at Catholica. We have put together a number of resident and visiting professors who are among the world's best in their fields. This allows us to give access to our students in Lisbon to some of the best professors that they could possibly have anywhere in the world. These are professors who are capable of giving their students a unique classroom experience, an engaging dialogical experience in which every student is put in the front row. So this is why our classes are highly demanding, but precisely because they are highly demanding, they are also highly rewarding. The slide that you are looking at gives you uh, examples of some of the institutions from where our professors come from. We have highly regarded universities in the United Kingdom, for instance, such as Oxford and the London School of Economics, in the United States, such as Columbia, Cornell, Duke, Harvard, Michigan, and NYU, and also from other places in the world, like Europe, Brazil, Singapore, and also from non-academic institutions, like the Court of Justice of the European Union and major law firms. Our student body is a very diverse student body. The class groups are also rather small, meaning that you have the chance to engage closely with the professors. We rarely have more than 20 to 25 students in the classroom at the same time. But as I was telling you, while the class groups are small, the geographical diversity of the student body tends to be very wide. So far, we have welcomed at Catholica students from more than 50 different nationalities coming from the four corners of the globe. Typically, more than 50% of our students in uh, the class come from outside of Portugal. And based on the applications we have received so far, the next academic year will be no exception. Over the past couple of months, we have interviewed candidates from all around the world, from countries like Germany, China, Ghana, Finland, Italy, Mexico, and other countries in the world. On top of that, as you will know, Lisbon is one of the trendiest cities in the world at this moment. Besides the touristic attractions that you may know from travel guides or from having visited them uh, yourself, our students like to engage in a series of other activities like surfing lessons and uh, obviously enjoying the city's vibrant nightlife. Moving on to our programs, let me tell you a bit more about our LLMs as I had promised. These are one-year programs that run from September to July. In order to meet the LLM degree requirements, students must complete at least 60 ECTS credit units. They must complete a minimum number of credits from the LLM in which they are enrolled in, and then they are free to choose as many courses and seminars from our other LLM programs. This flexibility and freedom to design their curriculum is something that our students tend to appreciate a lot. Now let me start with the LLM law in a European and global context. This is an LLM that was designed by professors Joseph Weiler and Miguel Poyaj Maduro, who require no introduction. And it's a program aimed at recent graduates who want to pursue an international career. This is not just one more program on international law or European law. It approaches these topics through a different pedagogical approach, 
an approach that Professor Joseph Weiler has coined as the total law approach. The purpose of this teaching approach is to have students understand not only the law, but also how the economic, social, and political context shape the legal problems that students are faced with and the legal solution to those problems. In order to uh, provide students with some knowledge, some extensive knowledge about European law and international law and comparative law, we offer a wide range of courses. Courses, for instance, on international trade law taught by professors Federico Ortino and Petros Mavroides, the course on the law of European integration, which is offered by the Total Law team, which is currently coordinated by Professor Miguel Poyar Maduro, a course on constitutionalism and global governance taught by Professor Neil Walker from uh, Edinburgh Law School, a course on the dynamics of EU institutions taught by Professor Duro Barroso, former president of the European Union Commission. And besides this, wide range of substantive courses. We also have a number of soft skill seminars, for instance, on data science for lawyers, leadership, legal writing, and negotiation. Moving on to the LLM in international business law. This is an advanced program designed for students with prior professional experience, both young associates and more experienced lawyers, lawyers who seek to develop a career in international business law. It covers a wide range of, of topics besides the soft skills seminars that I've already told you about. Topics like contracts, project finance, commercial and investment arbitration, corporate law, securities regulation, international tax law, the EU internal market, and they all follow a case-based method. In this program, the classes are generally held on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, allowing students to maintain their professional activity. Students may also choose to enroll in the program on a part-time basis, extending the coursework over two academic years. This option allows busy professionals to set their own pace of study. Now on to our LLM Law in a Digital Economy. This is a program that aims to prepare students to understand and anticipate the challenges raised by digital technologies and to become skilled practitioners in this new economy. It is not merely a program in law. It is designed to give our students the necessary technical knowledge on the functioning of emerging technologies. And this ambition is reflected in the curriculum itself. The program starts with a one week pre LLM bootcamp called Tech for Lawyers. This bootcamp is offered in partnership with IST, Instituto Superior Tecnico, which is one of the most prestigious European technical universities. Besides that, we also have the skills clinics that are common to all our LLM programs and a number of courses on cutting edge topics like big data and the law, blockchain and the law, data protection, the law of artificial intelligence, trademark law in a digital economy, intellectual property and competition. The students who enroll in our LLM programs have the option of after the curricular year is completed, submitting writing and submitting a master's thesis, which will allow them to obtain a master's diploma. Our master in transnational law is based on the LLM coursework. And after the students complete the coursework, they may enroll in an additional semester and then submit a master's thesis. As a student of our master in transnational law, you will be encouraged to do a semester abroad at one of our partner institutions or to pursue a second LLM by taking advantage of the agreements that we have with top American and European law schools. So you can continue your studies at one of our partner institutions, benefiting from a privileged avenue for applications. To give you an example of some of the institutions with which we have partnership agreements, we have Cornell Law School in the United States, the University of Tilburg in the Netherlands, the University of Los Andes in Colombia, and FGV Rio and Sao Paulo in Brazil. You can also do a double degree, the second LLM I told you about, at King's College London, the University of Michigan Law School, Boston University School of Law, the University of Illinois College of Law, and the University of Fribourg in Switzerland. The partners of our programs include major Portuguese law firms like Abreu Advogados, Moraes Leitão, Vieira da Almeida, PLMJ, and Quatre Casas, an Iberian law firm. We also have a partnership with ELSA, the European Law Students Association, 
I will tell you more about this partnership in a while. And at the career development level, we have agreements with the European Union Intellectual Property Office and the European Patent Office, allowing our students to apply for a one-year traineeship at these institutions. On to more practical issues like how to apply. Let me start by telling you that we have ongoing our alumni and student referral campaign. The campaign will be ongoing until the 30th of April, 2022. So if you know any of our current students or any of our alumni, get in touch with them, ask them for a recommendation letter, and you will be eligible for a 10% discount in your tuition fees. As to the application, the application presupposes that you hold an undergraduate degree in law or that you are about to conclude your undergraduate degree, and it must be submitted entirely online. It must also be composed by a letter of motivation, two reference letters, your CV, and the results of your English proficiency exam, be it the TOEFL or the IELTS. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we have been flexible in what regards the English proficiency exam, and we have been able to replace it with an interview. As promised, uh, here's some more information about our ELSA scholarship. This is a full scholarship that will be awarded to one European Law Students Association member. So if you're a European Law Students Association member and if you're interested in applying to our programs, what you need to do is submit a motivation letter to ELSA International through the email address that you can see on the slide. And then uh, ELSA International will shortlist you and refer you to Catholica Global School of Law. Apart from that, you will need to submit your application through the regular procedure uh, via Catholica Global School of Law's website. The applications for the 2022-2023 academic year are already open, so if you're interested, do apply as soon as possible. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. If you have any questions following this presentation, feel free to reach us at the email address that you can find uh, on the slide and also follow us on our social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for your attention.